My name is Kim Wern and I work as the laboratory manager for the Kapiti Coast District Council Laboratory. We monitor in the summertime predominantly about 15 recreational beach water sites and three recreational river sites. But Greater Wellington Regional Council two years ago adopted what they call the forecasting model system. We basically are just doing bacteria levels to ensure that the modelling system that Greater Wellington have in place is working correctly. Uh, the modelling system here is based on our weather, so essentially it's rain-based. When it's been raining, the bacteria levels in the waterways increase, and it's yeah, the, it's usually not quite, you know ideal to swim for two days. So now what we do every two weeks is go out and take samples from those sites just to compare how well our results are well, comparing to the model that they've got in place. Data for uh, the actual site conditions at the time is recorded and that information is logged into a, an app which is uh, then on sent to Greater Wellington Regional Council. And so for the seas we do intracocci and for the freshwater we do E. coli. They are processed through what we call a membrane filtration method. They are then incubated for approximately uh, just on 24 hours and once we have the results we then upload that information into the app and then resend that to Greater Wellington. If you're going for a swim this summer, go to the Kapiti Coast District Council's webpage and or the Greater Wellington Regional Council's webpage and check out the Lawa site app on there, it will document whether it is safe to swim at that site for that particular time period. It's run by a traffic light system so if it's green it's good to go.